Welcome again and today I will unbox a really nice battery charger. Let's start with the charger itself. It is a Litokala Engineer Lee 500. As you can see, input DC 12 volts, 2 amperes, output, and compati compatibility with all these kind and types of batteries. Let's show the device itself. Satisfying quality of plastic. Really good design. It can fit nearly all kind of battery sizes. On on the top side it has DC power input and USB output it's 5 volts 1 ampere in the box you get a wall adapter and also you get a car adapter which is really nice if you are a photographer, let's say, and you want to charge your batteries before you come into the place where you are going to shoot, you can charge your batteries. Practical. Also, you get a user guide. Now I will go through functions. Before I start, I will need to use the batteries. In this case, I will use a four 2A batteries. Put in batteries. When batteries are in, you can power on. Now, when batteries are detected, you will see a readings, and charger will automatically go into the charging mode, and default current is five five hundred milliamperes. And the uh, first row of buttons will indicate a channel selection. So channel 1, channel 2 and so on. As you can see, number change when you press. Let's, in this case we are in channel 1 and voltage is 1.39 and here are readings of how much is charged battery currently and this is a timing uh, one important thing to know uh, you can change uh, charging current here but uh, charger operating this way I will need to shut it down and turn it on when you turn it on, 
and it starts charging in first eight seconds if you press a current button you can change a current but now it changed for all four channels when eight seconds time pass you can change a current but only for selected channel I will demonstrate that but by pressing mode now I can change let's say 500 as you can see channel 1 is 500 but others are 1000 This battery charger also comes with two really good functions. The first one is a battery test. In short words, it detects a real battery capacity. So you finally can know how much milliampers this battery has. On this one, it says that it has a 3000 milliampers, but we both know that this is not real, but with this function you can know a realistic number to go into the battery test mode you will need to press a mode button but like for the current settings to apply a, a function to all channels you need to shut down the charger plug it in Press more button, in this way you can shuffle through functions and go to fast test. Then you need to select a current. I will go into the 1000 milliampers. Basically what charger does, it will discharge batteries to their empty state and then it will charge them to the full capacity. On the screen you will be able to read a real capacity. Of the batteries. The second function it's called a NOR test. It will discharge batteries then it will charge them to the full capacity and in the end it will discharge them again. I showed you how to apply a function to all channels but if you want to separately do a function for every individual channel so let's say I want to charge a first channel when charger is powered on you need to select the channel then long press a mode when this place here start blinking you choose what you want let's say I want to charge a channel 1 channel 2 I want a fast test and channel 3 I want a NOR test and channel 4 is fast test so you can select a different operations for every individual channel or select a one function for all channels when charger is powered on and you have 8 seconds time limit to do that I hope you enjoyed watching this video for more content like this please subscribe and until next time see ya